Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, June 19th. Powerful thunderstorms ripped through parts of the Mid Atlantic region in the overnight hours. Southeastern Pennsylvania was hit hard. Bucks County, for example, suffered numerous power outages. Those thunderstorms broke the back of the two day heat wave that we experienced here in the Mid Atlantic region. Much cooler today compared to yesterday. High temperatures this afternoon in the Philly metro region, for example, in the low 80s compared to the low to middle 90s on Wednesday. Much more comfortable air arrives throughout the Mid-Atlantic region in the overnight hours tonight. Continues uh, on Friday and really looks like the comfortable conditions will last right through the upcoming weekend. Quite a nice weekend in the New York City metro region. Pretty decent as well in Philadelphia with just a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm on Saturday. DC looks a little bit more active in terms of the shower and thunderstorm threat on Saturday, but even there, Saturday will not be a total washout and Sunday promises much in the way of rain-free conditions in the DC metro region. So much more comfortable air will arrive tonight following the passage of a cold frontal system and that comfortable weather will continue on Friday and right through the upcoming weekend. Here's a look at the radar loop, and indeed, there are some showers across northern and western Pennsylvania, maybe an embedded thunderstorm or two. has to work its way south and east through the I-95 car before we can say we're completely rid of the showers and thunderstorms. Notice also a little bit of a circulation can be seen here in the radar loop across eastern uh, Ohio and into western Pennsylvania. This is associated with an upper level feature we'll show in a minute that has to pass through the mid-Atlantic region before the threat diminishes for showers and thunderstorms. I do not expect the severity with any thunderstorm today uh, compared to uh, what we had in the overnight hours. There can be some thunderstorm activity today but again at least from Pennsylvania Maryland border I do not expect any uh, strong to severe thunderstorms. South of the Pennsylvania Maryland border in the DC metro region, they can reach strong levels later on today. Well, here's a look at the current uh, surface map in a minute. We'll look at the upper level map. Here's the cold frontal system that has to pass through the I 95 corridor before we can say we're all clear. And again, it looks like the passage of that surface frontal system gives us the, uh, the likelihood of some showers and possible embedded thunderstorms anytime from midday through the afternoon hours between D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. Main player here is a strong high pressure system in southeastern Canada, setting, sending some very comfortable air down through New England today and into the mid-Atlantic region overnight tonight. Again, tomorrow will be a very nice day up and down the I-95 corridor. Really, those comfortable conditions continue right through the weekend with uh, uh, very comfortable temperatures and humidity levels. Well, here's a look at the current upper level map. 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet or so. And here is that little upper level feature that indeed is uh, kind of visible on the radar loop with some circulation associated with it. And that has to pass through the I-95 corridor before we're in the clear. That uh, is generating some showers and thunderstorms right now across western and northern Pennsylvania. And certainly another round of showers and possible thunderstorms uh, will uh, reach the I-95 corridor during the midday and afternoon hours. Well, let's take a look at some surface forecast maps using last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. This is for late this afternoon, the GFS model. Two uh, main features here, uh, strong high pressure in South Central Canada and low pressure over the Canadian Maritimes. The combination of the two sending northerly flow of comfortable air through New England on its way to the Mid-Atlantic region will be much more comfortable tonight. Uh, certainly by tomorrow morning, it'll be noticeably more comfortable here in the I-95 corridor. Pretty healthy looking uh, precipitation pattern depicted here by last night's GFS model run associated with that cold frontal passage. Again, showers and possible thunderstorms in the I-95 corridor anytime from midday through the afternoon hours. Uh, I do not expect as uh, severe weather conditions from Pennsylvania north and east as compared to what happened overnight. But in the D.C. metro region, northern Maryland, northern Virginia, there certainly can be some thunderstorm activity on the strong to severe side later on today into the early part of tonight. Well, let's now jump ahead to the Friday morning forecast map, and then we'll look at Saturday morning and Sunday morning. A very nice day on tap to end the work week on Friday. That high-pressure system dominates the weather by tomorrow morning 
all the way through the mid-Atlantic region with comfortable conditions, plenty of sunshine on Friday, and again, comfortable temperatures and humidity levels. High temperatures uh, may only get to about 80 degrees in parts of the mid-Atlantic region, perhaps low 80s in some areas with, again, very comfortable humidity levels as well. Now here's the forecast map for Saturday morning. By Saturday morning, that cold frontal system that has stalled out in the mid-Atlantic region, in about this region, will start to lift to the north, and some showers and thunderstorms will break out across western Virginia and West Virginia, and certainly the D.C. metro region right in here can get some shower and thunderstorm activity on Saturday. Not a total washout. Southeastern Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, southern New Jersey can see a shower or a thunderstorm, but I expect most of the day will be, <coughs> excuse me, rain-free, <coughs> excuse me, again with comfortable temperatures and humidity levels. New York City, meanwhile, should stay in the clear, should stay rain-free on Saturday with very comfortable conditions, pleasant temperatures and humidity levels in the New York City metro region on Saturday and Sunday as well. And finally, here's the forecast map for Sunday morning. That area of showers and thunderstorms tends to retreat back to the south. This should generate a rain-free day, at least mostly rain-free, maybe completely rain-free in the D.C. metro region, even though they could have some shower and thunderstorm activity on Saturday. Sunday looks to be mostly, if not completely, rain-free, and very likely to be rain-free with pleasant conditions in the Philly and New York City metro regions on Sunday, thanks to that large high-pressure system sitting up in southeastern Canada. So much more comfortable air after another round of showers and possible thunderstorms during the midday and afternoon hours. The much more comfortable air arrives in the I-95 corridor tonight and continues on Friday and lasts right through the upcoming weekend. Not a bad weekend at all in much of the mid-Atlantic region. That's it for now. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist